Law Street Journal. You are in conversation with Manfred Kala and today we are going to talk about the doctors who are being humiliated inside the hospital premises and the policemen who are being targeted on roads amid the coronavirus outbreak and the provisions that the government declared for all the doctors nationwide. are being humiliated by their landlords on the remarks of being dirty and infectious and are being asked to leave their rented house. Some of the doctors are also being targeted inside the hospital premises because of the insufficiency of resources. In a video call with Prime Minister Modi, the AIMS chief had said that doctors in Varangal have been facing a lot of problems because they are being asked by their landlords to leave the rented house on the remarks of being dirty and infectious with coronavirus. The chief of AIMS also urged the Prime Minister for a better pay to the staff in the hospital as the staff of the hospital has been given a leave. The staff also doesn't know when would they join back their duties again. Their pay is not protected as of now. Apart from this, a lot of doctors have also been humiliated inside their clinic, inside the chambers of their clinic and here's a video for the same. <laughs> He has another video of a doctor being humiliated by a policeman. The AIMS Residence Doctor Association has also written a letter to Home Minister Amit Shah telling him that doctors have been asked to leave their rented house and some of them are also not allowed to enter the societies they live in. After all the humiliation that the doctors have been to, the government of India have added rupees 50 lakh as insurance for the doctors and the hospital staff. Here's another shocking story. Apart from doctors, even policemen are being humiliated on roads in different parts of the country. As the lockdown continued, the people in Uttar Pradesh formed an alliance and went for mass prayers, also known as Namaz, amid the coronavirus outbreak and after knowing that all the places have already been locked down, even the religious places have already been locked down amid the coronavirus outbreak. The information of the mass prayers was then sent to Inspector Pahoop Singh, who in no time reached the mosque with his fellow policemen. Pahoop Singh had asked the mob to open the doors of the mosque, for which the mob angrily denied and did not open the doors. Pahoop Singh then had to unleash himself on one of the mobs against which the mob had attacked on the policemen and in no time a reinforcement team was called. A similar incident happened in Meerut two days after the Bagaus incident where Muslims had come over the roads to express their gratitude towards the frontline workers fighting the pandemic even after knowing that the lockdown was already announced. These people were asked by the policemen not to come over roads and not to gather at different places. Rather, the Muslims did not listen to policemen and had went for mass prayers at the mosque. A few similar incidents happened in Kolkata as well where people were seen coming out of their houses to buy the essentials throughout the day even after knowing that a lockdown was already announced. Dantala, which is known to be the proudest place in Kolkata, had the greatest number of people coming on roads amid the nationwide shut. Since the lockdown was applied, 1,302 people have already been arrested in Kolkata under Section 188 of the Indian Penal Code. CM Mamta Banerjee had also said that the people who will not follow the lockdown will be arrested in no time. A woman in Kolkata had also humiliated a policeman, an on-duty policeman, and had spit on him. The policeman had stopped her as she was on road even after the lockdown. Here, let's have a look at the video. Yeah, 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 yeah
all for today can you share the video as much and like as well and don't forget to follow us on facebook twitter and instagram and keep following us for more legal updates